Uh, the first example, this is example 10. Uh, this is for that using that empirical relationships between CU and overburden pressure. So for this example, we have an overconsolidated clays deposit. And we know the average effective overburden pressure 180. OCR, this is OCR value, 2.6, which is greater than one. So we know it's overconsolidated clay. And plus this index PI 19. So first we're going to use the empirical correlation equation 12.46 and 47 to estimate the uh, Andrean shear strength. So for this one, first from equation 12.46, so that's Kempton's equation, and that equation is for NC clay. So from this Kempton's relation, we have CU of VST over the overburden pressure sigma naught prime. So this is that 180 number. And this is for NC clay. So that's for NC. This is related to the plasticity index PI. So that's equation 12.46.11 plus. And if you substitute PI of 19, this is 0 0.1803. So that's basically Kempton's equation, 12.46. But that's for NC clay. And for this deposit, we know it's overconsolidated. So for overconsolidated, from equation 12.47. For overconsolidated clay, that's equation 12.47. So we have Cu over sigma naught prime. For overconsolidated clay, which is OCR to power 0.8. And then that's Cu over sigma prime for NC. And that CU over sigma prime for normally consolidated clay is what we just calculated. It's this expression, it's this is our equation here. So from this, you can calculate the Andrean shear strength of this OC clay as OCR is 2.6 and CU over sigma naught prime for NC is 0.183. 803, then times overburden pressure. So that gives you the Andrew shear strength for this over consolidated clay deposit, 69.7. So that's a very simple example. Basically, we use these empirical relationships to estimate the Andrew shear strength. So that's example 10.